Assalamu alaikum hürmetli demek tinglovçiler. Bu dersimiz İngilizce'de on borç gerekli ama deyken kısa çeviriz, bir çeman var bir zaman. Bu demek İngilizce'de keçirasız huzur deyicinde old da yönünü görüp çıkamız. Demek good day of the time my listeners and today I'll speak about the six ways how to say sorry in English because in different different situation you have to say in different way to, to ask the, the apologies from the person you hurt or just you did something wrong and uh, the first thing uh, we have to say it is usually you know that uh, all our listeners the beginners know about sorry but uh, this is the way uh, not appropriate to every definition and uh, every, every situation I mean and for example, what do you say when you when you make a mistake? Yes, it's a it's a regular time, and whoever can do can make some mistakes uh, during uh, any action, during any process of speaking, or just uh, saying something, or just a grammar uh, grammatical mistakes. And the first is if you if you say so often, the expression may lose a little of its power. Here are six other words uh, for saying uh, saying sorry. So first, bring uh, the mark English the böyle de gelmesin. My apologies de ayıtladı. Bu demek uzur söylemem de gelmem onda işletildi. And bu yerde mesela kaysa holat işletildi ama misolda kırıp etirken onları İngilizce de şunu düşündürüp demek devam etmemiz. My apologies is another word for I'm sorry. It's a rather formal, so it's fine to, for business context. Commonly, people use uh, it to decline or an invitation or express regret or at being able to fulfill a request. However, it may be perceived as a sarcastic or casual setting, so choose carefully when, we, when and with whom to use it. Demek bir yerde ayet bir türlü bu frazamız yani my apologies o da da business tabir korlikka bağışlanan hatta da formal yani rasmi hatta da işletildi ve bu yerde asosan demek bu iboranı köpro aynen kaysıdır hatını kaysıdır fikrini demek rad etiş için inkor etiş nazarda tutulmayan oldu işletilse Maksatına muhafif böyle. Bak bir yerde bana misal getirdiğim. For example, my apologies but your order will be arrived until Monday. Demek ki bir yerde misaldan görüntürüp de tercümesinden huzur söylemem. Lekin sizin demek ki şey buyurtman giz. Düşen bak günü geçe yedip kere olmayın. Yani eğer siz düşen bak günü gel ol işte tayyör bölüm borgen bölsen git. Yok ki sizge hat keder giyen bölse o şefayette bana şu ilk oranı işletiş. I am sorry bu yerde Demek ki sağ tuporra böyledi ve bu vaziyette işletiş no ürün sorunu. So, uh, you know, if you, if you want to say I am sorry, that will be not appropriate for this situation, for this uh, special situation. That's why it's uh, rather better to say like my apologies, uh, but your order will be will not arrive until Monday. Demek ki ikincisinde kurbetimiz, bir yerde bana kurbetler gelmezdik. İkincimizde pardon sözü var. Bu endi boş katlılar da hem, Fransız türlü de hem, boş ve yani Rus türlü de hem, Kürtler kargen söz, yani İbora ise bana da pardon, pardon, pardon me, I beg your pardon, yani İngilizce'de uçta fraza olarak işletmiş mümkün. Kaç on işletmiş, ama İngilizce'de yoz programdık. Pardon is a verb which means to allow at a Courtesy, pardon me, as uh, offended or used alone is a shortened form. Uh, wrong person to excuse a mistake, pardon, uh, used alone to a shortened form of the I beg your pardon. Uh, in, in, that, in that instance, pardon is a noun that means forgiveness or tolerance. In my career, I'm going to be able to pardon the other person. I'm going to be bir fikrini tövbe deyiz, yani ben bizim fikrimi bildirsem deyip savaş verişten oldu ve onu demek ki fikrini tövbe deyip özünün fikrini ifade etmiş bir işletmeli mesela bana bir yerde example deyip belirgen cüyüde pardon me, I didn't mean to offend you demek ki ben sizge bura her az bir niyatım yok edin ben sizinle bura korkutmakçı yok ki bura sizge yomonu türlü niyatım yok edin yok ki 
I beg your pardon. Juda ham qattiq huzur so'rayman degan ma'noda ishlatilishi mumkin. Kings demak oldda huzurdan uchinchisi bu excuse me buni ham odatda juda ko'p tarqalgan va I am sorry bilan excuse me bu juda ham turli demak iboralar hisoblanadi. Masalan, inglischa tushuntiradigan bo'lsak, I am sorry bu odatda bir nojoya ish qilib qo'ygandan keyin uzr so'rash kerak bo'lsa, excuse me, birovni e'tiborni tortish uchun. So in case if you want uh, to draw one's attention, it's better to say excuse me, not I'm sorry. Because why I'm saying this? Uh, because uh, at the process of communication or in the process of learning English, so majority of students, learners, beginners usually use I'm sorry. Uh, just uh, can I ask you a question? Usually, if you if you want to draw one's attention or if you want someone. Pay, uh, someone pay attention, just pay your attention, you have to say, excuse me, just in this case, it will be very appro appropriate, uh, the phrase to, to start the conversation. Or just, uh, if, you, if you want to say, uh, if you want to show your misunderstanding, or just you're out of speech, or you're just uh, out of uh, time, you didn't catch uh, with, the, with the conversator, just uh, with the dialogue, with a speaker and you can say excuse me can you repeat please or just here it's written excuse me is used to politely interrupt a conversation you might also say it if you commit a social no no so we are not going to talk about the same thing the same thing is that the same thing is that the same thing is that the same thing is excuse me the same thing is that the same Well, we are done so well then. Excuse me, I didn't realize that wearing shoes inverse was implied in this country. So, shoes that the nurse and I have to share. Then I could could be a tourist that they Uzbekistan that he got by. Well, we are not. In Europe, I think that all that the was such a film that we could have seen this by Korean. Then we could have we learned that how we are not very much in the usual, but. Uzimizda shunaqa holat bo'lganda, agar siz kechirasiz, hech qoyin degan paytda, aynan shu nimani bilmagandim ma'nosida ishlatsa bo'ladi. So, uh, we know that a lot of tourists come to our country and they have their own uh, tradition, customs or habits. For example, one of those habits they do not take off their shoes while uh, being at home even and uh, they can just go out without like wearing other shoes or changing. So in this case, uh, if if you, uh, for example, want to argue that they're putting uh, their food, uh, their shoes on in your house, uh, or just when you when you explain that it's impolite, they can say, just excuse me, I didn't mean that the wearing shoes in this country is uh, like uh, impolite. And the next one, mi culpa, the mic, mi culpa, who all that lot in America, sir. Yani lotin tilidagi davlatlarda ko'p ishlatiladigan so'z. Mikulba is a Latin phrase derived from Catholic prayers. Nowadays people use mikulba to apologize or take responsibility for wrongdoing. You might see this phrase in newspapers, uh, for example, to apologize for misinformation or to retract a statement made in error. They might, uh, tushuntirilishdan ko'rinib turibdiki, mana pastak berilgan izohdan ko'rinib turibdiki, bu yerdagi mikulpa so'zi bu aynan lotin lotincha ibora bo'lib hisoblanadi. Biz bilamiz, Amerikani, demak, Amerika bu ko'p millat deb, demak, davlat hisoblanadi. Bu yerda turli millat vakillari bor va ularning ko'pchiligini lotin Amerika S vakillari tashkil qiladi, ya'ni Janubiy Amerikadan ko'p kelganlar bor yoki Markaziy Amerikadan bilamiz ularni demak asosiyatli lotin ya'ni o'sha ispan lotin tili hisoblanadi va shundan kelib chiqib mikulpa hozirgi kunda Amerikada ko'p tarqalgan yoki xohlagan bir ingliz zabon tilida bu narsani siz agar eshitib qolsangiz yoki bir duch kelsangiz buni aynan kechirasiz huzur degan tarzda qabul qilish kerak. So uh, I want to say that nowadays uh, the 
diversity of uh, national nationalities in different countries so draws different new words borrowing words and one of them is the culpa so uh, if, you, if you came across with this uh, phrase you should not be just uh, how to say surprised just you have to accept it as excuse me or my apologies or pattern uh, phrases and uh, equal equivalent with those phrases for example here it's given the, uh, the example the witness wrote the statement of Mikulpa after he was caught lying in court. Demek bir yerden kadar mutlaka ki, uş bu ibaran tercümanlar bir yandan desek, demek guah notları guahları vergenin uçun sudada uzur sudada. Bak işte uzur sudada günde I'm sorry yok ki excuse me my apologies pardon mas. Ayna Mikulpa de demek uzurunu kilitli yani. Bak bu ne kadar mutlaka ki. Bu rasmi tülde ham demek uh, işlatsa böyle diken iboralardan biri sallanadır. Ok, so uh, the next phrase is oops or whoops. It's uh, mostly the spread among youth and nowadays they use uh, teenagers or just uh, a majority of who think they are young use uh, this kind of phrase in everyday like life and oops it is used for mild errors or social blunders if you spill a glass of water you might use this explanation or uh, chagrin uh, for your mistake on the other hand if you break an unbearable heirloom with or stronger apology might be in order Demek bu yerde hazırmayı diyen hata uçun oops ya da whoops işletse böyle. Yani bir sonunda köyünü turgen deyip asan oz güne sunu yerge tökü görseniz bey hostan bir şey fayda oops de koyseniz böyle. Yani bir şey uyunu egesten siz şu ortalık uzun keçirersiniz. Yani bey hostan tökü koydum deyken vayet bile tutuluş mümkün. So if you if you just break or just drop a valuable for example vase or a valuable stuff uh, of the household you, you cannot say just oops demek agar siz bir arzuli qimmatli biror bir boshqa chet eldan olib kelingan tarixiy bir narsani tushirib qo'yib oops bilan qutula olmaysiz bu yerda siz demak nima kamida uh, I am very sorry, <laughs> I beg my pardon, I made a mistake there. Yana uzur sura, agar ma gülse, I pulunu tülaj ortali, demek kutula olas. Ve bu yerde bana misolda verilgendi, whoops, I drink your coffee mug. Demek bu, bundan kürbü tuttu, bu yerde bana şu frazı hato işletilgen böyle şu mundu. So, uh, perhaps the phrase is wrongly used in this phrase. For example, whoops, I broke your coffee mug. For example, the mug can be very valuable, very memorable for the owner of the mug, and you cannot say just whoops. But in general, if, if you consider this, uh, for example, mug was uh, just a casual thing at, at home and uh, it's not with the, with the writing, with the memorable just uh, stuff in it, with the picture, just you can say whoops. And in other case, you have to say, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, or just uh, I'm deeply sorry that I broke your mug. Okay, so uh, the next one is my bad. My bad used usually if you see the bad, uh, you can consider bad is your mom. My bad, and at the first uh, side you can say my bad. Meaning your mom, your mom. No, the the, the expression also used in order to say I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, and my bad is a slang expression used to claim responsibility for a deed. If you dump someone on the street, you can say my bad to let them know you acknowledge your fault. My bad should only be used in casual speech or among friends. Demek my bad bu en kök tarifalagen no rasmi uzur süreç usulü böyledir ve bu yerde siz uzun hatam gizli ben şu tariflerin kömüktür gendik. Used for his time or yan oldu onu demek Oqbatini anglagan oldi, my bad sözini ishlatishingiz mumkin. 
va bu yerde bu odatta düzler orasta ve her kumlik suhbat davamını işletilişi gerek bölgedir. Bu yana ayetlerimiz var. Işte, Tarıklar yazılgenlik. Hemen bu yerde My bad should only be used in casual speech or among friends. Hemen düzler ve her kumlik mülakatlar davamını işletilişi gerek bölgedir. Bundan gördüm durdu ki, maalde bu non rasmi huzur süreç usulü soğuklanır. For example, I lost the book you lent me. My bad, I will buy you a replacement. Evet, bu son tercüması. Ben senin kitabını yok atı koydum ve ben huzur süreyim. Ben sana bunu cüvege cüvege, yani bir yangısını onu veremem. So, I want to say that If if you're learning English, yes. If you're learning English, if you're just honing your language, honing your speaking, and you have to use different ways of saying sorry. And on on on one hand, it makes your just a speech clear. How to say, advance it, and the conversator can understand that you have like a higher level of speaking ability. And this will be very appropriate if you know how to use and what to use in exact situation when you talk in English, uh, when you're with the foreigners, with the tourists, and with, in different conditions. So I want to say this: uh, these phrases are very useful, and uh, you can come across with this phrase in your everyday everyday life so everyday situation so uh, good luck and take care and i hope the lesson was useful for you thank you and bye